That tornado damaged or destroyed 7,500 homes in this city. So now you see a lot of this all over Joplin, new houses being built. But you also see this, painful reminders of how much destruction there was here and how much work there's still to be done. Near the foundation of where their church once stood, the members of Peace Lutheran came together this morning. How do you feel a year later? Oh, proud of everybody. The F5 tornado that leveled one third of Joplin last year also destroyed their church. They have not yet rebuilt it, but over on 26th Street, the steeple of St. Paul's Methodist is again reaching for the same sky that last year tore it down. All over Joplin, new homes are being built. 446 of the 553 businesses destroyed have reopened. The new playground in the city's main park is a big draw. Yet some things cannot be replaced. I just soak up the sun and soak up the joy that my son gave me. Michelle Hare comes to this field to feel close to her son Lance. This is where he died. Days after the tornado, she was frantically searching for her 16-year-old, who was out driving her car when the tornado hit. His backpack was still inside of it. We were with her when the police came to the door. What happened? Um, I have gotten a visit from the Joplin Police Department notifying me that my son has been identified. He's so, dead? Yes, correct. But it is in some way a comfort to at least know that he's in a better place and that we don't have to wonder if he's out there needing us. When do you think of him the most? In the morning. Always in the morning. When you get up? When I get up. You do think, you know, what a wonderful soul has been lost and what a great young man and, and you think about the future that he could have had. Lance Hare would have just been finishing up his junior year at Joplin High School. Of course, that high school was destroyed in the tornado. So when President Obama comes to town tomorrow night to speak to the graduates, he'll be doing it at a local university. Jeff? Ben Tracy, thank you.